everyone, my name is Veronica Morella and I am the founder of the Decor Project and today we're going to have an instructional video on how to make the mats. So what you'll need to get started for this project are the following. You'll need all-purpose thread, either dark navy blue or dark blue or black. You'll need some elastic. I use a 3 8 braided elastic. And this is what I do. I cut these about 11 and a half inches long in length. And then you'll need a magic marker. One of these invisible markers where you can just dot, you'll know, place a dot. This is washable and invisible, it comes out. You'll need some scissors to cut and you'll need a measuring tape to measure. And you'll also need some pins but you need to be careful not to stick yourself because I do it all the time. Well, we collect these almost every day. These are the wraps that we collect, the blue from the ortho tray, ortho trays or other instrumentation. And what you do when you collect these, and of course these are cleaned, um, they're not dirty, these are taken out before, prior to the patient coming into the room. So once you retrieve these, um, you want to make sure that information that's on the wrap itself uh, is taken out. So what you do is just rip it off carefully, not damaging the wrap and any other sterilization um, process stickers. You can leave the tape on, it's fine, but these are the big wraps that we have and that we use and you will need two of these wraps the exact same size in order to make and complete the sleeping mat for uh, the homeless. So after you've removed all the information from the, the wraps themselves, um, you will need, uh, well it's recommended to have a large space in order to, to put these together, um, dining room table or the floor, anywhere, in order so you can have some room to work off of. So once you have, the, have everything off, you will fold the two mats in half and then what you'll do, either, either way, you fold them long ways, they're, it's, it's a perfect square, so to speak. So any way you fold them, it's fine. So once you get both of them folded, you'll put one inside the other. So you'll sandwich the two mats. And just um, make sure they're all lined up. One won't fit all the way through. So, um, and that's the beginning of your mat. And what you'll take is some pins here and start pinning from the top here where the two mats meet all the way across on the sides, the bottom, so you have a complete mat. After you do the pinning, you will take a measuring tape, which I have here in inches, measure from the far end of one of the mat, of one the side of the mat, to five and a half inches. I have an invisible marker that I use, and I'll dot where my five and a half inches is located, and I'll turn it, the tape around and do the same on the opposite side, on one end of the mat. So five and a half inches from each end, in, and I'll take an elastic, which is about 12 inches, or 11 and a half. Um, I make it long, so if I um, happen not to sew too close to the edge, or too far from the edge, either or, it uh, at least goes through the machine, so I have room. So what I'll do is fold it in half, and where my dot is located on one end of the mat, I'll put it in, I'll put it through, the second layer, or in the middle of the mats, sandwiched again, and I'll use a pin, and I'll pin it down, making sure I grab the elastic as well. And I'll do the same for the next, the other end. Fold it in half, go through the, sec through the middle layer of both mats, and make sure they're about the same length, same across, and pin it as well. 
and this is the beginning of your mat. Next, you will sew the mat in a single stitch. Start stitching um, here at this corner. I purposely put the mat this way. I don't know if you can see, there's a, a border here. It doesn't matter how far in you make it. It's just an inch or a half inch in, all the way around each corner, the bottom, and back up again. So let's start sewing. Oh, and by the way, make sure that you, when you start to sew, the first couple stitches you reverse and then go forward so the stitch sticks to the mat. your running stitch on all four corners make sure that you take your pins out being careful not to poke yourself um, you can also take your pins while you're sewing stop and sew but what I do is put them a little further back like this away from my border in order for me not to do that so I can just go so after you've taken all this all the pins out make sure the tails that are cut off. And then this is what you come out with as a completed mat. Here are your elastics on this side, on the one side. And what you'll do is on one end, fold, start rolling it. and wrap the elastic around. So this is my finished product, this is my mat. And on a good night, I can sometimes do 15 to 20 mats in an hour. Just have to have my caffeine, my coffee, of course. So uh, if you have any questions, you can email me and I'll answer you back as fast as I can. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started.